Well, there's only one perfect diet. The one that you're going to stick to. Because you can have another diet that's way better, but if you're not going to stick to it, if you're not complying with it, then it doesn't matter. If you're getting all these nutrients, you're just going to feel way better. And guess what that's going to do to your cravings? You're going to decrease it because your body's not deficient in anything. Beyond the food, there's three things that I do. Number one, pre-workout. Water, super important. This is a teaspoon, so this is five grams. So this is what I've been doing right now. I'm somewhere in between the recommended dose and the max. So a little bit of it is going to go into the pre-workout drink. I would say about a fourth of it or a third of it. And then the rest is going to go in my gallon. But before I do that, I'm going to get my post-workout water. And the rest of it is going to go to the gallon. So okay, just leave a little bit for the post-workout. So salt is in place. Now, let's go to the next ingredient. Branched amino acids. Most people will recommend that you take them uh, during your workout. I personally prefer before the workout, so that by the time I'm working out, my body already absorbed them and I can actually benefit from them throughout the whole workout. And then free effects. So if you've never taken this, I would start with one scoop. And once you build tolerance, you can build up to two. I, I use two, two scoops every day. So we did the salt, we did the water, we did branching amino acids. These are important because these are gonna help you prevent fatigue and it's gonna prevent muscle breakdown when you're working out. So it's gonna prevent your body using that muscle as fuel, which is the last thing we want. Okay, we want to use carbs and fats as fuel. So this is gonna protect your gains pretty much. And I want that during my workout. This is gonna help me, you know, be more focused, more awake, more alert, more energy, and more strength. And then last but not least, the salt absorbs faster and better when you combine it with carbs. So if you combine it with carbs, like carbs, end up being glucose in your body. So if you combine it with glucose, it absorbs twice as fast. If you combine it with fructose, which is the carbs from fruit, it absorbs four times as fast. So that's the trick, that's why the grapefruit. So you can get one of this and just squeeze your grapefruit, but it will lose some of the, some of the pop up here. I actually kind of like it, so what I do is, I just squeeze it. So the, the juice from one grapefruit is not that many carbs, so it's just enough so that you can actually absorb everything and have some, some fuel in your body, but it's not that much that let's say if you want to get leaner, you're just going to use those carbs in that workout. You're still going to tap into more of what you have stored through one of these workouts. So that's Salt, water, grapefruit, BCAs, and pre-workout, and then you shake it up.